It really shouldn't be that hard to remind yourself to do something in 2016. Back with the release of iOS 6, Apple gave us the Reminders app, which was great three years ago. While there have been slight improvements since then, I still find it hard to enjoy my time spent with this stock app. That's why I've switched to Clear full time now. Here's why. Like so many other apps we'll be covering in this series, Clear is simple and precise. I mean, just look at its UI, filled with straightforward rows of varying goals and aspirations. But enough about looks, because using it is equally enjoyable, if not more so. So let's start from square one. The first thing you'll want to do in Clear is, of course, to make a list, which is as easy as swiping down or tapping in this area here. Once you've given it a title, you basically do the same thing again, only this time you'll be creating an actual reminder instead of a brand new list. Feel free to add as many as you wish, as the possibilities here are literally endless. Here's where the fun begins. One of the main features with Clear is that it organizes your lists based on their priority. The darker the shade of red and the closer that task is to the top of your screen, the more important that particular goal is. Now my only gripe here is that not every list is based on priority. So if Clear is assisting you with grocery shopping, there's no way to make everything have the same value. So those Oreos will always be more important than those green beans. There's simply nothing we can do to change that with Clear. I also love the fact that there are so many small, fun options to configure. There are two cool in-app purchases that allow you to change the default fulfilling sounds, to something a little bit different. Oh, and I almost forgot to showcase the plethora of themes available as well. Seriously, there are so many to choose from that I generally just stick to the default heat map look. I've been using Clear for a few years now, and I haven't looked back since the day I switched. Clear helps me to become more organized, and I use it to make lists constantly. So you can check it out for yourself in the App Store for $3.99, and at the time this video went live, it was actually on sale for 50% off, so $1.99. Or you could stick with the Stock Reminders app, because that choice is yours. But if you need a simply quick, gesture-driven app, then Clear's an app you won't ever forget. Alright, real quick before we wrap up the episode, first I wanted to say thank you guys for your awesome support on the first few episodes of the series. You are seriously the best. Second of all, there's going to be a slight break for the app upgrade just because I'm going to pull an AMC and call this one the mid-season finale. So there should be four or five more episodes at some point in the future. I'm aiming to relaunch it or finish season one probably around late February, beginning of March sometime. Life's getting a little bit busy, normal uploads are gonna continue, but I still need to script and record and voice and do all that fun stuff to make this series successful. So I hope you guys understand. Thanks for your support, and I'll talk to you later.